I got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. I've got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? You know what? That's it. I'm done. I have told you like nine times. I've got the joy down in my heart to stay. You never listen to me. It's joy. Wow, I was, I was just asking. <laughs> in my heart. Where? Ah! I was asking a lot of questions. Yeah. Hey, hey, welcome to the So and So Show. I'm Brandon. Yeah, I'm John, and we're wrapping up the discussion we've had this month all about joy. That's right. We've been celebrating the good news and what God is and has been doing in our lives. So we decided to throw another party just to celebrate. Well, we were supposed to be having a party, yeah. but as you can see, we are not. <laughs> we, we couldn't figure out what kind of party we should have, so yeah. I bought something online that could help. You did? Mm -hmm. I went to Kimu, which is a new website where you can buy things really cheap, and I bought this! Ho! Oh! <laughs> Do I even want to know what this is? Uh-huh. These are time machine goggles. What? They allow you to see into the future. What? Yeah, it's genius. Since we don't know what kind of party we're gonna have, we can look into the future and actually see the party. That way we know what the party will be and how to decorate. You bought time machine goggles. Yeah. So you can look into the future yeah. and see what kind of party we're gonna have. Yeah. So that we can decide what kind of party to have. Exactly. It's actually pretty smart. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, so what kind of party are we gonna have? Look, oh, look, I don't look, know, I don't know, let's look. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh the future. here we go. <laughs> Is it working? No, not yet. Oh. oh. <laughs> happy joy day, John. And happy joy day to you, my friend. It has been four decades since we started this tradition. And I hope there will be many more to come. Did you get me the tiny horse I asked for? I did, and I assume this is a raw onion? I know it's your favorite. <laughs> what? what? Whoa, 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 what did you see? I, 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 think, I think I saw too far into the future. It's, it's terrible. In the future, I like onions. Really? And the horses are tiny. What? Here, let me see that. Brandon, while I agree that in time our joy day will be most triumphant, well, the truth is it'll never be a bodacious party until we can have a most excellent cake. Yeah, yeah, John, but how do we know if this cake is most excellent if we don't know what it tastes like? Oh, multo conundrum, bro. Yeah. Oh, dude, what if we ate the cake? Oh! Excellent! <laughs> yeah! Did you see the future Uh, I guess. Sort of. Y yes. Was there a party? There was a cake involved. So what kind of party was it? I don't know. But what I do know is this. This thing... Doesn't work. Uh, yes, it does no, work. It does yes, not. it does. It shows us the future. Maybe we just have to recalibrate. It, it does not up. show our future because we do not know what our future here on Earth is going to be. Yes, we do. No, we don't. I do. You do. Okay, fine. Tell me what's going to happen in the future. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Time machine goggles, huh? Yes. No. That's great. You know, it would be cool if we knew the future. Actually, the truth is, 
We do know some of the future, and it's something that should bring us joy. Really? Yep. It's what today's Bible story is all about. I can't wait to hear this. Hey, here, take it away. All right. Today, we're in the very last book of the Bible, Revelation. Now, the book of Revelation tells us what the end of God's story will look like. It was written by one of Jesus' disciples, John. See, the Holy Spirit gave John a vision of the future and told him to write it down. So today's Bible verses are a part of what John saw in that vision. He saw a lot of unusual things like, da, 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 da. <laughs> It's time for Bible sizing with Horvath! Horvath. Thank you for having me on your shows. I am Horvath, and I am an expert in combining the mental trainings of learning the Bible with the physical trainings of making your muscles bigger. <laughs> Great. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to read some verses, and Horvath is going to do some exercises to help us remember them. Yeah. You say the Bible verses, and I do the exercises. Let's do this. You got it. OK, here's what John saw in his vision. He wrote, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. I heard a loud voice from the throne. It said, look, God now makes his home with the people. He will live with them. They will be his people. And God himself will be with them and be their God. Wah! I know, right? Here on earth, God is with us no matter what. But in the time John writes about, in the future, we'll be able to see and experience God with our very own eyes and talk to God face to face. It's going to be amazing. Ah! First exercise! <laughs> I call this curls and chats, and we need some special equipment for this exercise. Okay. Oh! <laughs> we will be using our biceps and the weight of our flip phones to exercise our armies. Flip phones? So we can talk face to face to God! Face to faces! <laughs> I'm not sure how exactly that- No talky! Exercisey! Okay, first you open your flip phones and then you curl it to your ears and say, hello! Then you uncurl your bicep and close the phonesies. Why are you not exercising? Oh, I don't have a phone. Oh, use your hands, they're the phoneses of the future. <laughs> we do 27 of them! Go! Hello? Hello? One! Hello? Hello? Four! Hello? Hello? Hot sauce! Hello? Hello? Jonathan Taylor Thomas! Hello? Hello? Wheelbarrow! <laughs> Hello? <laughs> 47! Oh! Oh! Okay, carry on with the verses! Oh! Uh, okay, okay. Next verse. John is standing before the throne of God, and the voice from the throne says this. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, and there will be no more sadness. There will be no more crying or pain. Things are no longer the way they used to be. He who was sitting on the throne said, I am making everything new. Now, did you catch that? God will make everything Everything brand new. You see, we've grown up in a world where things are broken and people are hurting and times can be tough. But if we can put our faith in Jesus, you can trust that in the end, there won't be any more death, no more pain, or even tears. Wah! Well, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds incredible. Yeah, hold. Okay, do you know the sayings, cry me a river? Uh, yeah. Don't do that, because I cannot swim without my floaties. But this exercise is called, when no one cries. <coughs> I put my fists on my eyes and twist like a little bitty baby who cries. Wah, wah, yeah. And then I drop my arms and do two monster curls to the side. Ooh, we do 27 of them. 27? Yeah, Okay. go. One, <laughs> offensive tackle, micro machines, grape sodas, what? 27, oh, oh yeah, what's next, what's next? Okay, okay, last verse. Here's something else that John saw in his vision. He wrote, 
There will no longer be any curse. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun. The Lord God will give them light. They will rule forever and ever. Can you imagine? Oh, no. No more darkness. A light that comes from God that will last forever. Oh, that's a final exercise. It is called explosion of lights. Now this is a low, high impact exercise. Are you sure I should? Yes. Oh. You will be fine. Mostly. First, you scrunch up into a little ball. As if you are in the darkness. Uh, an unpopped popcorn kernel waiting to explode and be eaten. And then, pow! You spread your armies and your eyes and your mind in any direction. You are light, never to be turned off again. Oh, I like that. Good, because we do 227 of them. 200. Here we go. One, two. Uh, Mackinac Island! Uh, participation trophy! Uh, I want my baby back, baby back ribs! Uh, oh, 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 my shoulders! Oh. Ah. Do, do I need, do you need? No, 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 no! Finish your stories! Ah, ah, hee Ow! Ah, oh. Eeh. Well, you never want to see that, so I'll, I'll finish up real quick. I know it can be tough to wrap our heads around forever, at least it is for me. And I know while we don't know everything about what the future will hold, what I do know is that life with God won't be boring. God will make right every single thing that is wrong. Our place in the story will be with God. And just think about how incredible that will be. Wow, our, our real future looks so much better than what we saw in these goggles. I know, we'll have everything we need because God knows us and loves us. Wait, wait, will there be onions in heaven? I can't say for sure, but if there are, I bet they taste delicious. Whoa! <laughs> are you okay, Horvath? Yes, yes, I have all the ice packs put on my bodies so there's no more pains in my shoulders. But even better, now I have a part-time job as a goalpost. <laughs> and it's good. And it's good. Three points. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. You know, about this party, I think we're overthinking things. Us? Really? Yeah. We should just be celebrating that no matter what the future holds, we know that God has a plan to make everything right. I love it. Let's do that. How do you decorate for that? Reveal the question! Oh, what's the best party you can imagine? Mm, well, my favorite kind of party is one with all my friends and family. You know, parties are the best when they're filled with the people you care about. Well, that's a good one and I agree with you, especially if it's with friends and family you haven't seen in a long time. Yeah. And if it was a party that didn't have to end. Oh yeah, a forever party. Oh man, I would eat so much charcuterie cheese. <laughs> oh, bet. What about you? What's the best party you can imagine? Yeah, talk about it together and we'll see you next time for a brand spanking new show. Yeah! Charcuterie cheese. <laughs> I know, I want some charcuterie I cheese. I do too. What's do you? your favorite charcuterie cheese? Cheese. Oh, it has to be uh, a Havarti with dill. Really? Mm -hmm. That was very well thought and reasoned answer. Or Jarlsberg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say cheddar. <laughs> so, this is the future. Great Scott! It's John, Doc. What? My name is John, you called me Scott. It's a turn of phrase, John. Oh. An exclamation, a figure of speech. Are you telling me that in the future, we look like this? How many years into the future are we? 1.21 giga years, John! Great Scott! No, it's Brandon! What? Scene. <laughs>